music business, there is a common perception that a musician is generally held in higher regard the further away from home that he or she performs. While it is true that local musicians are often never fully appreciated in their hometowns, but seemingly adored elsewhere, banjoist Paul Erickson defies this trend, being equally admired and respected in both his hometown of La Crosse, Wisconsin, as well as the worldwide banjo and jazz community. For a young man destined to play music, La Crosse, Wisconsin was a great place to grow up. Strongly influenced by the indigenous polka music, as well as the Dixieland jazz that had settled in the picturesque Mississippi River town, Erickson gravitated towards the rhythmic pulse of both musical genres, the four-string banjo. While still in his early teens, Paul could be seen performing professionally at nearby Shakey's Pizza Parlors, as well as with lacrosse area jazz bands. The professional reality check of Shakey's closing its doors in 1975 sent Erickson on a quest to find his own musical identity and direction. Gravitating towards jazz guitar icons and incorporating their influence into his ever-growing and unique personal banjo style, Erickson knew he needed to make a living, but not at the expense of creating the jazz music he had come to love. creation of music, particularly jazz, is often best accomplished through interaction with other musicians. As a member of the Wonderful World Jazz Band, Paul Erickson became a fixture at many of the traditional jazz festivals held each year across the country. As his reputation grew, utilizing impeccable skills on both banjo and guitar, Erickson evolved into the go-to fretman for numerous jazz bands scattered all around the Midwest. An insatiable musical curiosity, coupled with newly developed skills as a five-string banjoist, also saw Erickson develop a unique and tasteful partnership of music created by both four- and five-string banjos. It is, however, as a tenor banjo soloist in which Erickson has truly made an artistic mark. Absorbing and distilling the music and playing styles of banjo greats of the past and blending those traditions with jazz and more modern musical influences, Paul Erickson has created a new and unique voice for an instrument which many believe to have been musically perfected nearly a century ago. An inventive musical mind, driving and controlling an incredibly light and fluid touch on his instrument, have resulted in a modern tenor banjo sound and style that is as fresh as it is exciting. As word of his special talent spread, Erickson quickly became, and remains, a favorite soloist at every major four-string banjo-centric event around the nation. Interacting musically at these events with both his idols as well as contemporaries, his playing style remains dynamic, in a constant state of experimentation and growth, but vigilantly respectful to his banjo roots. Those roots, by the way, remain firmly intact in La Crosse, Wisconsin, where Paul carries on a tradition, welcoming banjo players from around the country each September to the annual Midwest Banjo Club Rally. Growing up literally in front of the longtime attendees of that event, Paul Erickson has evolved from a musically ambitious teenager into a mature and internationally respected banjo and jazz artist. Modest to a fault, Erickson typically shies away from the spotlight, preferring instead his role as a sideman. When, however, that spotlight naturally gravitates towards him, the result is always spontaneous, engaging, and utterly musical. As a New Age tenor banjo pioneer, the unique musical presence of Paul Erickson in today's banjo world represents a true artistic milestone 
bridging the instrument's colorful past with its unlimited future.